So for the hint, just to style it. Scenario. So we have several deviation in the flavor of physics, and that might be a hint for your music. So this is a summary of my uh, physics view. It's very uh, broad one. So we want to construct some new physics, which can uh, explain mm -hmm. some mysteries. So, and to say something, uh, to say, to claim this deviation, well, we need a uh, precise thermal calculation. And currently, uh, we have a set of deviation uh, very, uh, comparing the very precise experiment and this very precise theoretical calculation in the variable physics. So we have several programs. And the yeah, current anomaly, uh, I will focus on the so called early on this anomaly, which I will uh, introduce later, uh, which uh, implies the new phase at the TV scale. So it's very natural to uh, consider some uh, private constraint for some uh, signal. So uh, this is top prime. Uh, I will briefly review the current status of uh, various P anomalies and we will discuss their mechanical possibilities. And uh, this is the main part. Uh, I will consider the new basic start of the LHC. And then let me summarize. And if I have time, uh, I will show you the preliminary uh, results. So I will explain the P anomalies. Uh, in order. So the first one is Lucy Puzzle. Do you know this kind of anomaly? So let me start from the beginning. Uh, uh, VCV is a quite muscular element. So, and uh, well, there is two ways to determine the VCV. So, one is so called inclusive VCV, uh, which is determined by B meson decay into the XC L2. So here, XC means uh, all the hydronic stage containing a charm core. So experimentally, they sound all the final state and they determine the VCD, which is uh, the, roughly speaking, the branching ratio is proportional to the VCD square. So in this way, we can determine the exclusive VCD. On the other hand, uh, so called exclusive VCD. Is determined by some exclusive specific mode like a V2D LU or V2D star LU. So uh, this is the status. Uh, and in this axis, uh, we have uh, VCD, and this is an exclusive determination, and this is inclusive determination. So we have uh, two or three things in the description. Uh, okay, let me move to another uh, puzzle. This is very new puzzle. Uh, it was about last year or two years ago. So we have, we also have. Okay, uh, in the next page, I will also introduce the anomaly in the semi-leptonic decay. But we, uh, this is uh, semi-leptonic one. But we also have the discrepancy in the hadronic mode. The core, uh, four core transition. So uh, there's a precise experiment, uh, uh, Baba and the LCD and the, uh, they are all uh, very consistent to each other and the world average for this DK mode are listed like here and uh, the standard calculation is so, uh, has same kind of error. Uh, but uh, they predict the larger consistently larger uh, branching ratio and significant uh, significance is uh, very few, not negative. Yeah, and this amplitude of uh, amplitude of those decay processes are proportional to the uh, VCB times B2D transition form factor, and just uh, based on their descent of. Uh, Development in their compactor fitting, uh, we find this kind of large discrepancy. So, to explain the, uh, to fit the data, we need to reduce the sum of the amplitude by 20%. Uh, if we try uh, to reduce uh, with some new physics, 
uh, we need to uh, put large nuclear effects because uh, this is described by the thermal model that will extend up to three level. So it is not easy to evade from uh, evade the experimental LHC constraint, budget constraint. So I move to the uh, main part, RV and RV standard. So this is a, one of the most uh, excited uh, people, ex or most excited uh, memory. Uh, this is so-called RK uh, as a ratio of the branching ratio, uh, mu mu over uh, E over mu mu. So they have several uh, deviation in the in several Q scale beans. So there we have, uh, and consistently we have uh, deviation in other modes like a B2K menu and B2S2 by menu mode. This uh, describes uh, the same uh, coping uh, pattern interactions. So the final one, uh, which is most important in this talk, is RB, RB star. This is uh, this defined by the relation, also defined by the ratio. Now, uh, tau, 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 B2D tau nu over B2L nu. So, by thinking, uh, taking the ratio, we can uh, cancel the VCB dependent because uh, branching ratio is proportional to the uh, VCB square. But uh, by taking the ratio, we can cancel out such uh, uncertainty, uh, such uncertainty, uh, uncertain possible. And currently, uh, uh, we have discrepancy. Uh, this is in the RD and versus RD stop range. So uh, there are many experiments, and this is current experimental world average. And here is some of the prediction. Uh, the discrepancy is about uh, 40. And there's uh, one striking news uh, last, uh, last month. Uh, RSCV released the new data. Uh, so called R <coughs> lambda C, which is uh, described by the same interaction here, BC2 counting interaction. And they found as a smaller uh, experimental value compared to the standard model prediction, which is uh, yes, in the opposite direction, but the uh, systematic uncertainty is still real, so we can't uh, make a clear uh, conclusion. So uh, let me emphasize the importance of the transition form factor. So VCB puzzle is uh, VCB is determined very roughly speaking. Uh, the branch ratio is uh, proportional to VCB times form factor squared, and in this anomaly, uh, branch ratio is uh, proportional to, to the form factor squared, and our DRD star is proportional to. Yeah, branch ratio itself is proportion to times form factors. So this form factor is very important. Uh, and if we uh, if it is the program at uh, the determination of VCB uh, last year, and uh, but uh, we also added the high order term uh, 101 MB squared, so called uh, in, in so called heavy co effective theory, that we find. Uh, we they produced the previous results, so we have we still have the discrepancy, so we can't solve the publicity puzzle. And even if we allow some new critics uh, in the B2 L mu mode, the E or mu mode, uh, we can't solve the, this problem. So uh, this problem is uh, very hard so, to solve. And uh, we also got the new. Uh, some of the prediction for RD RD star based on their or precisely with mm -hmm. new uh, factor, we found a smaller value for the standard model prediction compared to the previous uh, world average one. So the current uh, discrepancy is possible. Okay, this is the summary. Uh, we have a little puzzle, but uh, two is. Uh, very difficult to explain with the new prediction. So, and RK is a, uh, described by the new process 
in the Soma model. So there and the mean deviation, uh, twenty percent of deviation in the average level. So this means the uh, implied scale is what well, MTB. And for the RD anomaly, uh, this is described by the three uh, three W exchange. So the implied scale is for the PV. So it's very natural to, to test some nucleus uh, related to the RD anomaly at the ASC. Okay, this is a reminder. So, in by taking the laser, so we can cancel out the dominant uncertainty from the hadronic matrix element, so called uh, B2D uh, transition form factors, and the PCB <coughs> dependence are also canceled. So, this is the very theoretical green and solvable. So, it's very nice uh, place to look for some nucleus. And also, we know the uh, left and variable universality between E and U. Uh, this is a previous uh, experimental result, uh, which is consistent one. This is a sum of the position. So, if we want to have some new critics to explain the anomaly, uh, we need some non trivial setup which covers the top generation. Uh, and this could be some new hint for the new uh, flavor structure. For the nucleus uh, UV composition. So, what kind of uh, nucleus we need? Uh, as I said, uh, we want to we need to enhance the RVRD star by twenty percent to fit the data. So, we need large effect in thermal. Okay, we want to try to test at the AC. And but in general, uh, we can. Uh, Encode the new fit effect in a simple effective Lagrangian. <coughs> so this is a this is a sum of the other part for the three minus a interaction. So uh, in addition, we have five, uh, we have four other operators, the scalar operator with different clarity, and the vector operator with different clarity and tensor. So we assume the uh, neutral name is always left handed. Uh, if you are interested in the strike right handed neutral uh, solution, we will look at these papers, these papers. And in general, if we have a uh, Charlie Hicks, Charlie Hicks uh, can contribute to the, these operators. And W prime can contribute to the vector and the uh, so called left core. Which couples uh, both a lepton and quark in pair, uh, which is as so often predicted in the gas theory, like S4, S5, something. So uh, it can contribute to uh, outer uh, operators. So currently, uh, uh, according to this paper, uh, there Three uh, promising candidate, candidate, I mean, the left court uh, scenario uh, to explain the anomaly. So the difference is the charge, quantum charge, and uh, because of this charge, uh, we can fix the uh, specific, we can have specific combination at the left court uh, scale. And I will not explain in detail. But I will show a several results for different scenarios. And before proceed, uh, for moving on, uh, let me comment on the recent update, uh, which is very important for the idea of the anomaly. So, if we have some new physics, uh, like a Charlie Hicks, uh, this part uh, automatically. Con Contribute to the B sub C, um, B sub C meson decay into tau nu because uh, we have the same interaction here. And in the standard model, uh, we have W prima and say interaction here, and the tau and neutrino are all 
more left handed. But this is a, a scalar method. So we need a uh, hierarchy free. So relatively, we have a uh, clarity uh, suppression uh, suppressed by the final state left on mass. But in the scalar case, we didn't have such kind of uh, in suppression. So we have relatively large enhancement factor in front of the scalar contribution. So, uh, I mean, uh, if we want to explain the anomaly with the scalar, uh, mediator, this can easily enhance uh, this branching relation. The previous rate of uh, uh, people claimed uh, the bound should be 30%, uh, upper limit should be 70% or 10%, but uh, uh, people, Greenstein and Monica Branke revisit the program and they find the large uncertainty uh, which stem from the uh, uh, charm mass because uh, decay rate is, is roughly speaking the proportional to uh, mass on uh, core mass, heavy core mass squared uh, <coughs> into the four is this is the dimensional analysis and large uh, error in the charm mass affect the, uh, gives a large uh, uncertainty in the total decay rate of this of C. As a result, the uh, Consolidated down. So, in those uh, variations, they didn't uh, take into account such kind of uh, uncertainty. So, the current uh, bound is 60%, 63%. Uh, so, let me move to the quite a bit. Uh, do you have any questions so far? Okay. Okay, let me move to the quite a bit. As I said, we have three kind of uh, nucleus mediator, Charlie Hicks and double prime and left force. Uh, and the contributing diagram for the RDRT star is uh, shown in here. And this is a, a process requirement diagram for the LSC. For the Charlie Hicks, this is a very simple uh, BC fusion, BC fusion. To the tiny final state. And for the W prime, uh, we have the same topology. That phenomenologically, uh, we know uh, we, this scenario is excluded by the uh, Z prime search, which is accompanied by the, uh, because of the SU2 rotation. So we can uh, forget this uh, line here. So in the SNL, External case we have resonance. In the, or we have resonance at the LSC. Now, when you say uh, LSC, it means uh, are you using a flow structure? Yeah. Uh, so I mean, the, there you have a deport to the other side, to the first generation. Uh, yeah, we want to explain the RDR is the anomaly. Yeah, so, which is the third generation, the, from the third to the second generation. Yes. So, then, the last is TMS. Can, yeah, because we have a uh, proton in the proton, okay. so we can take the pro uh, proton for the proton. Ah, okay, so uh, I'm showing the LHC So my question was uh, we keep the initial state. Ah, okay. You, you are... Okay, you can uh, copy it from here. From this. Okay. And for the left fork, we have a uh, T-channel topology, which is uh, different from the SNM mediators. So the relevant process is, uh, for instance, B, C, tau nu. Uh, this is a, exactly the same. And we also have model dependent uh, uh, processes. And another important uh, process is the so called uh, pair production because that curve has the color. So we can very uh, produce the X curve. Um, through the QC interaction. So, uh, okay, I should uh, show that this slide first. So, uh, we have proton, and uh, yeah. uh, we have so this is a so called PDF. Uh, we have proton in the PDF. And yeah, 
in this part of years, uh, people start to look at the LNC constraint, but uh, uh, because I think uh, it takes many years to uh, people uh, to find this LNC could be interesting because uh, because B quark are rare in the uh, proton, so people might consider uh, it could be not easy to uh, search the free flavor nucleus of LNC. But this is not true uh, because we have large statistics uh, of the current LHC. And uh, another reason could be uh, most of the rare physicists cannot study the LHC quite a bit in detail. So this is uh, what I, I gave in the PhD, and I will show the results. And this is an important point. Uh, because of the different topology, we have different uh, signatures of the LSP. So, SNL propagator, uh, SNL mediator, uh, the, the propagator is so called uh, this one. And for the Titan mediator, we have this kind of structure. And this T is negative, but this S could be, uh, this S is always. Uh, positive. So we have uh, when S is uh, very close to M squared, we have lesnam lesnam effect like this in the uh, M2 frame. This is a, a kind of uh, effective mass for the lesnam. But for the T channel, uh, we didn't have such kind of lesnam structure. We have proto like shape. So we have a different uh, uh, signature. And the, as shown in here, we have huge background, which is uh, exponentially uh, decaying, uh, which is schematically shown in black here. If we have some external mediator, uh, we have resonance. And if we have uh, T-channel mediator, like that core, we have proton like uh, nucleic uh, signature. Okay, okay. So we uh, extensively start to uh, uh, consider the LSC scenario. So, exponent, uh, experimentally, they search for the tiny resonance. So, I want to show the, the constraint uh, for the SNL mediator and T channel mediator. And I will explain later uh, additional V tagging is very effective to suppress a sonoma background, so which improves a nuclear uh, nuclear sensitivity. So nuclear sensitivity. And I will explain later here. So we finally completed this uh, checklist. So we have very stringent constraint for the external mediator for the heavier region by exponentially uh, X X Experimentally, uh, they search for the uh, so-called sequential sum of the double, uh, double prime, which couple to the sum of the four as sum of the fermions, uh, as in the in the same way as the sum of the, but with uh, with different mass. So they are searching for the they are trying to push up the lower bound for the mass. So they originally look for the heavier region, and then they show their result for heavier than 400. And this is an experimental result uh, for the spin one particle because uh, this is they start for the double time. So we have, if we want to uh, explain the RDR list anomaly, uh, we have same uh, signature at the LSD, but this, uh, we have different screen defined. So we uh, performed the detailed detector analysis uh, based on the deltas and material and so on. And we interpreted the constraint in the so called RD and RD star plane. So we found uh, we used the 500 GB case uh, and found uh, originally uh, the model can explain the region. Uh, between the 
this and this black and this black line. Sorry. So basically, we can explain the all the region that, as I said, this uh, obviously down. So sixty percent down, you know, can exclude the region above. And here's the standard model prediction. But we found we uh, tunnel resonance search already excluded the top of the region. So NHT is very powerful to yeah, check the anomaly. And uh, another important point is uh, if we consider one TV case, we have more stringent constraint because, uh, because we have, oh, I cannot change. Let uh, me refresh. Okay. Okay. Now. Maybe too far. Okay. 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 Well, this is uh, the keyboard of the mouse. Okay. Maybe throw, maybe because. Uh, okay. No. Just to get slow, I think. Maybe it's not this slow. Try. By the way, I learned uh, Spanish when I was a uh, freshman at the university, so I, I still remember said a phrase in Spanish. La, uh, uh, say, cultivar la corpo la aquí. We are cultivating the uh, carrots here. Uh, 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 <laughs> okay. uh, don't go back to this slide. This slide is not happy. <laughs> yeah, don't don't go back anymore. I think that would be the slide. <laughs> you can only carry it. Um, oh. Try from here and just go. Uh, yeah, this is what we got to anyway. I think. Try go for this slide. Okay. Yeah. Let me continue. So, in the last slide, we explained the uh, constraint for the external mediator. So, I will move to the uh, so Gregor et al. found very interesting things. Uh, they use the uh, so-called uh, crossing symmetry, uh, which can relate the interaction uh, in the, for the anomaly and uh, LHC. And they look for the 
high PG uh, field region because uh, let go predict the proton like uh, shape. So they find a uh, constraint for the left core. And this is a colored region is a uh, favorite region by the anomaly. And this is a prospect uh, for, with a higher than LHC. So they can cut the interesting region at the LHC, but they find, uh, uh, and yeah, for the left-handed scenario. And the authors also work with EFT, so integrating out like this and find a very interesting constraint, which uh, is effectively the same, uh, uh, meaning that they can touch the interesting region or with the high LHC. But and, and according to them, they can apply the uh, EFT limit for the left core heavier than the two or three PV. But this is not the approximation curse. And, and, and I will explain later in the next slide, but and the difference is very crucial to judge the model. Uh, so what is exactly uh, what 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 is uh, to take the EFT limit? Taking the EFT limit means uh, forget this T, T uh, dependence, and this is negative one. So uh, this relation always holds. And another important point is we need to look for the very high PG tail end of the tail. So originally the, uh, we have problem collision in this form, and to have the large PT, PT means uh, transverse mass, we need, we need large uh, momentum change. So we have uh, large T. So we, we no longer I can, uh, forget the T dependence. So including T dependence is very important. So, and especially important for the light, uh, light uh, let's go scenarios. So we've pointed out the importance of the T dependence. And also show the uh, how it, how large we have the dependence. <clears throat> so we uh, constructed the, uh, those operators uh, based on the export models, and we found the uh, upper limit on the Wilson coefficient, uh, depending on the uh, mediator mass. So we if we have two TV left core. Uh, bound should be here for the tensor operator, uh, tensor nucleus. And if we have a uh, very uh, heavy nucleus, uh, like a 10 TV, uh, so we have uh, bound here. So difference is about 50% in this case. So, um, okay, home message is we cannot forget the uh, mass dependence. And the uh, difference is very important to judge the uh, model for RBRB star. Uh, this is a uh, little bit complicated figure, so let me explain why one by one. So this error has B sub C lifetime constraint, B sub C meson decay uh, constraint. Uh, this is the previous month. Sorry, I ate uh, too much for the month. Sorry. And this is uh, this uh, we show the uh, limit uh, parameter space in uh, in the <coughs> complex uh, with some coefficient train we show without and uh, so this through uh, solid one this through solid one is a bound for the EFT so we can exclude the central region of are the star, but if we take the two TV let's call a bound, we can uh, exclude the outside of this uh, Cheyenne dash line. So, meaning uh, EFT limit can exclude the central uh, value, but we cannot exclude the uh, central value for. How the other stuff is to deal with it. So, mass dependence is very crucial 
So that's the model. So you have to imagine how you are in the position, but yes. C -C evaluation. Uh, yes, uh, that corresponds to the compressed you cover cup and for the left cover. But uh, are you able to assume more or less? More than yes. more than uh, the rest. More than more, more than less. So uh, if you're able to which is the conclusion, including the so uh depending on the mass we, we can okay. now with the previous result. So it's the fact is usually which is the specific. It is yeah uh, outside of this uh, group for yeah. example. So we still allow the central reading. Okay, but we cannot choose uh, with the two D test because uh this region is inside of the circle. So outside of the circle we exclude it for the for the for a given mass. This case is uh if you, if you get the one that support uh, only one support. Support. that supports mm -hmm. so observation. We will try forty to one model that yeah uh, we didn't uh, uh in okay. this analysis and this is a future prospect with uh, uh, three inbound have found so uh high remarriage C can test very easily and in this uh prospect uh, we also use a new technique, uh, which is charge asymmetry of R, because the standard model, pretty, the standard model background is dominated by the W boson, the standard model W boson, which is uh, produced by the balance board. So W plus is uh, produced by the U and D bar, and W minus is uh, produced by the uh, U bar and B. So we know we have U, uh, U, U, D in the proton. So we have uh, asymmetry of number. But in new physics, uh, which couple to the BC, do not have such kind of asymmetry. So selecting uh, tau minus event can you know, improve the SOR, uh, second order forward fragmentation. So we, if we uh, specify that mm -hmm. we select the power minus event, we can improve the sensor by or forty percent. So I explained this before up to here. So further improvement could be possible with additional retagging. So I, let me explain the importance of the additional mm -hmm. impact of the retagging. So we have smaller background uh, at the, in the previous case, we had uh, this large contribution from the uh, balance core. But if we require additional, require additional V uh, jet in the final state, uh, we can suffer such kind of uh, contribution by basic uh, CDM factor. And in the signal case, uh, yeah, we didn't have such kind of separation. And as a result, so the main background can be from a mistaking of Z as B. So mistag late is order of 20 minus C. So we have we can suppress the background by requiring the additional B, the final state. And me et al, Mazoka et al found this 30 percent of uh, Improvement could be possible. And they worked with EFT, and this 30 percent is similar to the uh, charge asymmetry, how charge asymmetry technique. And uh, other results, we have uh, we, we need to calculate other uh, background which could be which could uh, contribute to the background. So they work with the EFT, and we all know we also know the importance of mass dependence, mediator mass dependence. We also work with the uh, mass dependence with uh, additional V tagging, and we also find similar uh, mass dependence. So, and this is the impact uh, 
in the uh, in the uh, same frame so for the so called uh, R2 let's go. So this is uh, the current. Uh, this uh, solid one is correspond to well, current luminosity. And for the 2.5 TV, so we can uh, exclude we, uh, current RC is just uh, uh, sensitive to the interest, interesting region with the tau nu such, but we, this is not possible with tau nu uh, conventional. So additional V tagging, sorry. I want to ask you something because I was seeing that there are three types of letting part uh, material. Yeah. Uh, delivered by by the, uh, by SO2 yeah. and two singular. Yeah. So uh, the this problem, this epic problem, are the same have the same behavior for it for the uh, they all? We, yeah, we have there is a difference. Yeah, we have difference. Uh, so the question is why was relating to what uh, scale activity is the doubled by S2 or yeah. the scale? The scale is doubled. Ah, uh, that limit was only for the double field. Yeah. Okay. So what I wanted to show, uh, say here is uh, we. Uh, Mass dependence is very important to just a model. And we also have a uh, similar same kind of figure for the other let's go, uh, which is a scalar let's go and vector let's go. This is two. Hmm? That's one is two. That's one is This one. And our two is scalar. One scalar. Two. Two. Okay. This is an end of the Bible. Please. Uh, can you uh, uh, return for the previous slide? The previous one? Sure. Uh, yes, this one. And this this one, one is the one is the same as the art here. Yes. Now we send it. No need to use the one. Is the number R2 or is it still the R2? Is it that? Is it that? No? Yeah. It's that. We have had an arm, but we don't discuss the contribution. And uh, this two, we have some. Okay. Uh, no one. So we can tap the interesting region, interesting region with B town, but uh, it is not possible for town. So, and this video also shows a uh, point that uh, I may see can test the interesting region. So, we have completed uh, this after here. So, five or ten minutes? Five or ten minutes. We still have 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so let me summarize so far. So there is several uh, deviation in VFX and many key observables are waiting for the precise measurement. So upcoming Bell 2 and LC will be super interesting for me, three for me. Uh, and I will explain the in, in 10 minutes uh, this part. So Charlie Hicks interpretation of our star, our star is uh, once excluded by the uh, overestimated bound for the bisopsy bound. So uh, if they, if we take the thirty percent, we can we cannot reach the what's in the region. But now we know this to be forty three. This is a forty three line line here. So we can. Explain the once in the region. And we can also enhance the so called FLB star, uh, sub which is sensitive to the uh, polarization of uh, DMT summation. Uh, experimentally, we have larger, 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 larger,
and the only scalar contribution, only scalar can enhance the value. <clears throat> so scalar is still interesting. And that, but as I said, so we have very stringent constraint for that heavier region, I mean, heavier than 400 dB. So we, uh, I revisited the, in this paper, I revisited the lower mass scenario. And okay, this is one phase slide which explained all the uh, constraint. So this is too busy. And but in principle, we have uh, we show the result in the two coupling frame, uh, which correspond to uh, pro coupling and left and tau coupling. So if we fix the uh, mass, uh, we can show the prediction for RDRD star with one sigma and two sigma, uh, one sigma for blue, uh, sorry, uh, green and two sigma for uh, yellow. And we sub C bound, uh, this uh, two, number two, can exclude the region above uh, this line here, this line here. And remixing a constraint, uh, I get the result from the mushroom paper and exclude the large uh, core coverings. And we newly, uh, I newly uh, added the uh, LHC constraint, uh, which is from this diagram, which is sensitive to the uh, core mass, the uh, core coupling. So basically, we have constraint uh, from both, from, from right to left. And style or style production, our uh, style constraint is uh, also very important. Uh, we, all, we have, in addition to uh, X3, X3 production, we also have uh, uh, T-channel production, uh, which is governed by the core coupling. And yeah, extra production is enough to exclude up to, up to 300 uh, style currently. So extra production is large and we can exclude the re region here. So meaning uh, this region predicts a large uh, branching ratio for tiny. So we can exclude the our region. And this is a uh, explanation for the line. So, uh, sorry, one is the current uh, uh, exclusion, and dash one is the uh, run to data, and so on. So, uh, so we have a uh, parameter speech, parameter speech which cannot uh, touch even in the high limit LHC. So LHC is not so sensitive to the low mass scenario. So we have same kind of, uh, basically the same, uh, but uh, we have several constraints. And yeah, okay. So, so we want to improve the sensitivity to the uh, this mass length, mass window, small mass window, and store, and the lower limit uh, can be obtained uh, by the strength of decay. If we have uh, lighter mass, two lighter mass, so and and also due to the uh, huge electricity uh, activity, so it, data recording is not so easy for the LHC. So how we should do to improve the sensitivity. So maybe you know the answer. This is uh, again B targeting technique. So by requiring additional B, this is sorry, preliminary, preliminary result. I cannot show you uh, in detail, but we generated the sum of the background. And uh, we also generated the sum of uh, input prediction with different masses. And the visual, we found the current, uh, current Sensitivity uh, excludes uh, this region. This, uh, of course, this uh, is not performed yet uh, by the experimenters. So uh, this is a sensitivity. 
but we can uh, we find very good sensitivity for the 200, 200 dB. And if we take here, which can maximize the contribution to RDRD star in this frame, uh, uh, we count uh, this sensitivity corresponds to the region here. If they find nothing uh, at the LSC, we can exclude the region above this blue dashed line, dashed line. And also a heavier scenario, heavier scientific scenario like a 300 dB have more good sensitivity because we have smaller background for the large empty region. And our conclusion uh, will be uh, current luminosity will be enough to judge the Charlie Hicks model. So I feel the final check mark. And if you have some specific model, uh, you need to check the. Uh, when you say Charlie Hicks model, what does it mean? To, to HDL? Yeah, or? generic switch type of model. So it means you are also. Your Yes, you have to have. So, so we consider a uh, uh, contribution for the neutral So the scalar one or the, the, the there are two there is two numbers, no? yeah. the scalar neutral and one additional uh, CP even scalar yeah. and CP off scalar and uh, charge case. Do you suppose if there's an area then the charge mix or no? The same kind can be the same. And we are going to have uh, an over correction constraint. Uh, and we cannot have huge uh, mass. Uh, so, uh, if we want to uh, consider the current constraint, you need to look at uh, this one. First, uh, this promising uh, process is. Are not you know, measured by the experimenters. And I heard the CMS experimenters are performing uh, this uh, analysis. And if you are interested in the hydrogen sensitivity, you need it's better to uh, look at uh, this one. So this is a summary too. A uh, light like charge case can still explain the other star. And however, uh, available mass limit is limit uh, mass uh, window. We have mass window for the explanation and various <laughs> constraints are very complementary, but uh, we need some uh, improvement. And this improvement could be uh, additional free tagging. And current luminosity is enough to test the scenario. So, this is the final remark. Uh, Red C is very powerful too. To search for the nucleic even if uh, it is compatible coupled to the sub generations. So, our one of task uh, is during the shutdown, let's see, it proposed some interesting processes. So, we did uh, this kind of work. Uh, let's wait for the new results. And we, yeah, that's all. Anybody have any questions? Maybe we are looking when we were showing this exclusion, this range interpretation with of the exclusion plus to the left of one. You choose this uh, two G left of one mass, or maybe here or two G is on left of one. Because we have a lower limit, uh, uh, which is which coming from the production. So current uh, limit is one about one point five or something. Okay, so we are just picking the one about yeah. that the production. And how does it change if you have a higher mass? If you have a higher mass, then then you would exclude also the this yes, uh, would... between uh, between this range because uh, if we have an uh, infinite mass limit, oh, uh, which we the, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm still puzzled about this imaginary part because it looks relatively large. It looks actually larger than the real part. 
Yeah, uh, and assuming yeah. there are any problems with it, could uh, you find or suggest some observable? Uh, some other, you mean some other problem? Yeah, uh, XCP, right? The new CP violation. Uh, it is not easy to test the CP violation effect of the new CP. But I think uh, under this situation, uh, in the, for instance, we do take how many, how many, at the level, then we can be positive. And that is uh, one of which can't be performed at the NSCB because we have uh, many nutrients in the bottom. So there are two will be interesting in that sense. Anyone remotely have a question? Or well, anyone else in the room? Then? Maybe from the leader tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Please allow me to. Yeah. Uh, well, sweet. Thank you. I'll see you later. Thank you.